Yo, what's going on, guys? And in today's video, we are actually back on NASCAR Heat 5. I know I said it was going to be the last video last time, but I don't feel satisfied with that race in the end. And I, so I just, I, I feel like I want to do more videos on NASCAR Heat 5 now. And also, I'm running out of video ideas, too. So, that, yeah, that's a factor. Um, but without further ado, we are racing at Chicagoland Speedway. Um, 19 laps. If we win the race, we get $315,000. As you can see in the bottom left corner, our incentive contract. We've already completed it, so all we need to do is just complete uh, two more races. We don't have to finish in the top five. Um, so yeah, um, so we're done with um, the top five incentive contract. We don't have to finish in the top five. We already did that. I just I can't I can't end it as soon as I get two top five finishes. So. I we're guaranteed now to get uh, $748,000, and that's why I actually spent a lot of money. Like, if you see in the top right, I was actually at $3 million at the end of the last episode because I got the money from, um, from, um, uh, Sonoma. So, hold on, yeah, um, so I actually upgraded all my departments and, like, um, I upgraded all my departments maximums and all this. Like, in all, like, uh, my speedway and short track. Like, if you look on the bottom, it says department maximums. I, I, I moved those up, and I actually, my, employ, and my employees, on each of their specialties, I actually moved them up by one. Um, and it might not seem like a lot, but, like, all of this that I just did was really expensive. It cost me about $2 million to do. Um, but I decided not to, like, save up for a road course car because I already had enough then. And plus, I'm probably going to have enough maybe. Maybe if I have a really good finish, like a really, really good, like maybe top three. I don't know. But I might even have enough to buy a road, car, a road course car then. But I'm not going to buy one now because if you look in the bottom right, it shows our schedule on like, what types of tracks they are. And they're all speedways. So, yeah. So, so that's it. Um, without further ado, I'm going to see you guys at um, the the qual or act not after qualifying going into the race all right guys so i practiced i did pretty good in practice i'm not even gonna lie i did a better practice t uh, time than i actually did qualifying um which i guess is isn't really that good for qualifying but you know i still have so many laps to do practice to hit my mark and qualify have like one lap so you know, it's all good there, but I, I qualified 16th, you know, all the times were basically kind of the same, like, the only thing that separates me from getting in the top 15 is, like, point, like, zero, zero, one second, um, so, like, that's how you know, like, like, this track, you know, kind of the qualifying is kind of almost all the same, all in that, like, you know, late 32, early 23 seconds kind of range, um, so, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get into this race, I'm start, starting 16th, I'm not moving down because, uh, you know, Tire, you know, people getting up tires for the qualifying or giving up, you know, all that. All right, stories of the race. Christopher Bell, driving number 95, relax. Christopher Bell is your friend, the race you clean. Right, thank you, Christopher Bell. Congrats on your first win in real life, your sec uh, second win, or second race of the year. Joey Grace, driving number 51. Joey Grace has been struggling all weekend. Let's see if he can turn around. Ricky Sound Shooter, driving 47. Give up qualifying position for new tires. Alright, so Have I think we're starting, day. yeah, we're starting to Kyle Busch. Um, my goal Looking here is a top now. 10 finish. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, but, uh, I guess we'll try. Um, and also let you guys know, I'm, like, I don't know why I'm, like, historically throughout, um, you know, throughout, like, other NASCAR games. I'm, like, really bad at Chicagoland. We're racing at Chicagoland right now. So, yeah, that's not really, you know. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't do anything, Kyle. I swear. Did you guys look in the mirror? He Wait, just spun out. Off. That was Hard not me. Out. I swear. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. All I did was I I, I cut him I cut him off. I'm not gonna green. lie. So he kind of. I guess it was ready. my fault, but I didn't make any contact with him. I just cut him off, and then he got like. He started swimming around, he was, I don't know, something happened, and he spun loose. That was not my fault, though. Stay left. Clear high, clear high. Just clear back. You know, what do you do? Alright. Seems like the packs aren't done. There's a pack like this, and with Kurt Bush is kind of getting away from all of us. 
I should get in that pack. I should be smooth sailing for the top two, really. Careful, still there. Alright. It looks like Denny Hamlin's leading the race right better. now. I think this this All actually clear. might be a uh, a good one. Because you know how I'll wait for lap cars at Sonoma and lap cars at Bristol and lap cars at uh, Richmond. Around. That's how I got the winner at Richmond. Um but I think this this one might be a good uh still a good there. one to get uh, some lap cars because it's uh it's a very actually sh it's a wide right. speedway. But it's a very short speedway too. Got a car coming high now. The shorter speedways. So as soon as we get a lot of traffic, if we do that get was a better it, lap. you know that this should be. I should Careful, be good. Still there. Easy top five. Maybe even a win. Got a car three. coming inside now. So, outside by himself. Are there on the side? All right, clear okay, low. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh gosh. Right side is clear. By himself. I almost got in a wreck there. Wow. Inside. I just, I, I got, I got so, like, I tried to block Kurt Bush and I saw the 19 car running up on me, so I tried to, you know, I don't know, I just moved, I don't know, it was a quick now. reaction, I didn't know what I was going to do. And I bounced off and he the one, almost wrecked there, almost ended the day right, right then and there, so early on in the race. Um, I'd probably have to do another race in th this episode if I were to wreck right there. Which I guess would have been nice since I didn't have to race in Chicago and, you know. So, oh gosh, you guys looked all the way up there. Dean Hamlin was really, uh, really up there. All I can hope for is just some, like, you know, no cautions, a clean race. Still there. And, um, Are there on the outside? You know, uh, some lap traffic. Wow, if you guys look behind me, Kyle Bush is right there. He remember he spun out at the beginning of the race. He started he had he to start back up last. Now he's all the way up here. I'm telling you, in this series, dude, Kyle Bush, he's, he's a force, bro. He's a force to right You know. I mean you guys remember a couple of episodes back, Bye -bye. back to Ooh, ooh I'm gonna the other bitch but I Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed here. I, oh gosh, Kyle Busch is getting really loose, really easy. I don't know what's up with this car today. Careful, oh, there. Oh, you guys see his like nose at the front of his car. It's really crunched up there. Probably because he hit the wall when he's going out. But he's still doing really good. Outside. Obviously, not having that much arrow damage. All right. Still stuck behind the bush right there. Wow, this race is really close quarters. Everyone's just trying to, you know, get to me. You know? Bottom lane moving. Nobody out oh, back. Oh, blocked him like that. Alright. So, it looks like Kyle Bush might be able to get into the top five if he stays consistent. Stay left. Alright. Moving past the one car, not that much. Stay low. I can just hit my marks in the corners, and I think I might be good to pass him. You got room. You're clear. And I put my marks in the corners. Outside, side. outside. Nobody out back. Kevin Harvick, bro, he's, he's just like, he is not really good. I can't go up to the wall to get some, uh, um, to get some side draft because, like, they're just right there. And if I move, I know, I think it'd be easier to block Kurt Bush one car than it is Kevin Harvick and that four car. It's Kevin Harvick, I don't know. He's just too good. If, I, if, he, if he gets past me, you know, it's 13 out of 19 miles. I think he, he will, you know, he'll get me. You know, I won't be able to pass him back. Pass him. Kurt Busch, on the other hand, he's passed me many times this race, and I've caught up to him many times. And it looks like the four car isn't going to give up until the one car anytime soon. So, you know, 
all I have to do, if I hit my marks, like, like, you know, like a lot of times in a row, right now, okay. Moving. Clear behind. Clear all around. I just, I, I, Hold your line. Okay. Got one inside. Left side, Thank clear. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you. Okay, he got me. Oh, oh yes, let's go, Kurt. Oh my gosh, Kurt just saved me. Oh, you guys see that, bro? And if you're like, I'm not, I'm not focused on my, on my mirror right now. Like Kurt, he just like, if you guys didn't know what I was talking about, I'm talking about like the mirror, the, the four car, the one car. Ke Kevin Harvick in the four car that's like right behind me right now. Like he was about to pass me. Like I messed up so bad and I went high. And go. then the Didn't one car by. just came up behind me, gave me a big old push. Like thank you. Let's go. Clear and behind you. All clear. It seems like when I get out of the corners, it seems like when I get out of the corners, like when I, I get like a big speed boost for some reason. I don't know why. It's really help. But then when I go in, like in the middle of the corner, I go up Left high side. for some reason. And I don't know why. Here's the full car next to me. I don't know why I'm going high. I'm going slow, slower than I ever have. Got one okay, outside Jimmy now. Johnson just almost sent me to the wall. Like, what do you like? Careful, still there. Okay, right correct. side's clear. Oh, yep, there, there we go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Brandon Gone. Let's go. There's All that lap traffic I wanted. Let's go. You see him just put the oh now I put the block on Kurt. Kurt was like my only friend that's here. I don't want that. I don't want to I thought he was gonna block Kevin Harvick. He did block Kevin Harvick for a second. Alright. But you know the lap traffic is coming in now. That was cool. Thank you. Lap traffic. Thank you very much. Okay, there we got Hill. I think the Quinn who oh yeah, these guys are gonna block some they're not gonna block no. Stay to your left. I need two more. I know this is kinda cheating, but they actually do it real life. Clear high, so clear they don't high. Because do I don't know. Because I'm like these guys are right, you're not you're not supposed to die bomb like where like the you know, that is. Um and the, well, I guess you're I mean it's allowed in real life, it's not a lot of drivers like I don't know. They just it just can't legal and the video game is still going. I don't know why the AI cars don't do that. They just don't. You guys see back. I'm getting nervous about Jimmy Johnson though. Careful, like he, there. he got he's getting by every lap car. I just Coming need someone to, right. to like just walk him like really good, you know. And why I don't need right if I get a caution, dude, it's gonna be it's bad if I get a caution. Like, I cannot get a caution. I don't think I'm gonna get a car. Yeah, no, no, no. There, it's the last lap. Actually, the white flag. Alright. Yeah, okay, I need to pass that white car ahead of you. I'm not gonna be able to do Careful, it. There's the finish line. All this clear. race is about. Yeah, it's over. Alright. So, I got a That's top a 10. I got a 7th place finish. Honestly, I'm really, really actually happy about that. Like, I'm, I don't usually get that in Chicago anymore. So yeah, I mean, I'm not really good at Chicago Land, like I said in the beginning. Um, but this is a really good finish for me, uh, especially considering my history of racing at Chicago Land and like other NASCAR video games. But with that being said, first place was Denny Hamlin. I mean, he led the whole race, I think. No, he didn't lead the whole race, but you know, most of the race, you know, most of the time it was, it was I mean, at the start it was Alex Bowman, but I don't know, he's kind of you know fell off. You know, he just kind of trailed off. See, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Oh, he, he got really banged around. He got thrown around back there, but he still came up and finished ahead of me. He finished in the top four. He finished in the top four, or top five. You know? Like, wow, what a comeback. Um, but anyways, we beat out Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, and Jimmy Johnson, the, the the three drivers that we were actually worried about, and we beat out Mark Martin Truex Jr. in the 19 car. I mean, he was a problem. I'm not saying he wasn't a problem in the beginning, but I knew he would give up late in the race, like he usually does, um, throughout this whole series. So we finished ahead of him by a long shot. Um, 
trying to see. Yeah, Brendan gone. He really saved us back there. All the, like, all these guys back here, like Ross Chastain in the 77, and everyone below him, him in the 77, and everyone below him in this little thing. They they saved they saved me really. To be honest, I don't think I would have gotten a seven pay per without them. So, um, so yeah. So my race earnings, um, in total from the just from the race itself and my finishing was 186,418. Um, our sponsor pay was $57,600. Our merch pay was $45,604 and our total was $289,622. So, um, this is the point standings in the playoffs. No, not all this is playoffs. This is points yeah, no, this isn't playoffs, this is points, so this one doesn't really matter. But here's how it is anyway. I made the top five with this one. Um, I only have one win. Um, playoff points, I have five playoff points, which is nice. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, now he's in the eight. Who's the lowest person with the win? Oh, yeah, Michael McDowell. Oh, yeah, in real life, he just got his first win. The, the day came to 500. Yeah, he got his first win there. It's crazy. But yeah, it happened. Um, so yeah, Kyle Busch still leads it with just points. I think playoffs is Brad Keselowski. Um, but yeah. So fastest lap was William Byron with okay, yeah. D most laps led. Denny Hamlin with 19 laps led. Oh, so I guess he did have the most. On the move, Corley Joy started 29th, finished 18th. Um, tough break. Martin Trix Jr. started fourth, finished 13th. Okay, I didn't know that he started fourth because I think you guys remember he was with us like the whole time back in like when we were kind of getting to the top 10, so he fell back a lot. I didn't know he even started fourth. I thought he started with us, you know. But without further ado, I'm going to head back to the garage. All right, so we finished seventh, got a total of uh, 200 or $289,622. Our fans, we got four. We uh, with this race and our books, we got uh, forty-four thousand seven hundred seventy-one fans in total. We added from this race. Um, we had smooth driving, huge savings, so that's good. Um, I don't, I didn't believe that we got smooth driving because we were bumping off other cars left and right. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we got some hate on social media, which I haven't even seen the social media in a while, which is weird. Um, okay, this is my only one. Speaking of this, uh, Austin Dillon, top 10, way to go. Thank you, Austin Dillon. Thank you. Alright, so that's it. Hold up. Right before I go into the outro and tell you guys... Oh, wait. What race do we have? Race number 18. Oh, we have two. Oh, yeah, Pocono. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get to that in a second. I'm gonna talk with you guys about the next episode, uh, which is really important. Um, but first off, um, let's see my reputation. Did I get any? Okay. Oh, yeah. I bumped into Stenhouse this one. Now he's my rival. So now I have an enemy who's going to go out there and try to try to wreck me. I don't know if he became my rival before this rate. Oh, wait. I think he did. I think he became my rival. Because remember, I sent him to the wall. Because he was already, like, upset with me and, like, like mad at me. But you guys remember... And Sonoma last episode, I put him in the wall like twice. So that's why in this race, remember when I was going down in that little thing next to the 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 finish line, he tried to he tried to you know send me to the grass, and I was like, oh, I don't know why, but I guess that's why he's my rival now. Okay, so that's cool. I finally have a rival. Thank you. Um, I guess this isn't good, but you know, I guess it's something. Um, I don't think I really, I don't think I lost any friends. I'm surprised with Kirk, because I kind of, like, kind of almost messed up his race. Um, but, yeah, I don't think I lost any friends, so that's that's good. I thought I would have at least lost, like, I don't know, someone. Um, but right now, okay, so, Pocono, it's a double header. So, like, a double header means, like, um, in real life, like, a double header means, like, how do I explain? In, in a racing, it means, like, there's a race on Saturday and Sunday. Like, there's two races, two days in a row. So, what I'm gonna do for this one is our next episode, there's gonna be two episodes in one. And the video's probably gonna be, probably gonna be, like, really long. So, if you stuck with me all the way through this, then, you, if you know, if, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, the video's gonna be, um, you know, 
I'm usually longer because there's gonna be two parts in it. I'm gonna let that be known, you know, in the thumbnail for next time. You know, part. What is this? I think this. I'll, it'll be like part. Yeah, cause this is part 16, so it'll be like part 17 and 18 combined to you know one video. Um, since it do, since the double header, and I have two chances, and at the same racetracks too. So, um, well, we haven't looked at the playoff standings in a, in a little while. Um. So, as I said in the, in the intro, forget about last race, how I said it would be, you know, my last race, but it, it's not. Um, but, oh, also, um, about the point standings, we have a really shake, we have a, we have a shake up in the point standings. Denny Hamlin got his first win of the season. If you guys didn't know, you know, he was up there, he's finishing the top five, like, every single race, so he stood up, he stayed in, like, the top three top four throughout the whole time without a win which is like you know really really impressive um but he finally captures a win here so i think he's probably almost he probably clinched for the playoffs honestly unless he just gets like a top 30 throughout the rest of the time which probably won't happen so um right now i'm in eighth which i'm sitting at a good place you know because the cutoff is um 16 so everyone above chase elliott right now is set for the playoffs not set, but if at the play, at the end of the day we went to the playoffs right now, um, you know it would it would be these drivers that would make it. But it's definitely not over. It's only race 18 out of 26 left in the regular season. And then you know obviously we have the playoffs. You know, so that's cool. Um, but let's go over need wins. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Austin Dillon, Cole Custer, Chris Buescher, and Bubba Wallace. Um. Bubba Wallace has been sitting with a must with need wins for the whole season, basically. Um, need points: Clint Boyer, William Byron, Eric Jones, Tyler Reddick, and Ryan Priest. William Byron has been sitting at needs points for basically the whole like season, really. I mean, and Clint Boyer was 16th, like he was where um, Chase Elliott was, but Chase Elliott was sitting at needs points for the whole whole season up until actually this race. So I guess now. I guess he had a good finish on Sonoma, I think, because I don't think he had a good finish in this race. But you know, he's he's in the he's in the he's in the playoff picture right now. So yeah, I think that's about uh, I think that's about it. it. Wraps it up for this episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you if you're not already subscribed, you know it's free. Um, it just shows that you support my channel and you and you can like get updated on whenever I post. Um. Uh, make sure to like the video if you enjoy this and want more content on NASCAR Heat 5. Uh, make sure to drop below uh, comments about video ideas because I have none besides this series. So I'm going to kind of be milking this series until it's over. Um, but without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode.